The next menu option is documentation and under here we've got two options menu documentation and screen documentation we'll just look at the first one and we can select our patient entry record and click OK and this provides us with a report let me just uh, zoom in a little bit on this so you can see better so this is an open insight menu documentation generator report and it documents the all of the options on our menus so our file menu we've got text new open save clear form delete you can see the accelerated keys the shortcut keys and also you can see the action that's going to be performed when that menu is clicked so for open it's going to read the uh, read the record uh, for save it's going to write the record clear it's going to clear it etc now the other menu option on there is the screen documentation and again we'll select our patient entry and again I'll just zoom in on this a little bit um, but you can see what the window is going to look like here with our prompts and obviously the labels and if I come down to the second page then you can see the comments tab and you can also then move on to the third page being the consultations tab and then below that you get the control name the screen text the table that it is linked to the field name and any quick events that are being run from that particular control and below that you get the control names and any scripts that are being run so if you remember we created on our, um, our little edit line for our image path when it's changed to update the picture so you can see there that I've got a change event that has been scripted there are a number of reports that you can run from here so I can list my attached tables my attached volumes list my index tables and columns and list users all fairly straightforward and under view I can show system tables or not show system tables I've opted not to show locations table types columns by type etc and I can refresh the outline so that's all fairly straightforward okay so let's just go back to database and our environment settings for the moment now the environment settings within open insight enables us to set a number of default settings that will run right through our application available over six tabs we can set up things like localization if we're working with non-english languages we can restrict access to certain data columns to some users and we can smarten up the look and the feel of our windows and make edit tables easier for users to work with now the first of these tabs is general and the first little group here is the default directories now sort path simply specifies the default directory in which sorts take place and the data path specifies the default path for the database now the default is normally data vol even though I'm putting my uh, data into a different location if you remember when we set this up I've set myself up a clinic data so what I could do is I could change the data path to be that so it will then put any new tables in there and the browse buttons just simply enable you to get uh, the locations to, to the directories the next option is localization and localization enables you as a developer to set the default language set to use or for the Windows locale to be used when none is set localization is not to use by open insight and the system will use system default settings being for the United States of America use LND when this is selected you can set the localization to a specific language set so I can push the button and because I'm in the UK what I can do is I can use the UK settings and Windows Locale will result in Open Insight using the locale settings from the Windows operating system so if you're selling your application across many countries then it will probably make sense to um, use that particular option and the edit language set button displays a dialog window that enables you to choose a language setting and display its default settings and these settings may be modified and saved but we're going to leave them alone for now so in this particular instance you can see the month abbreviations and the full names how you're going to represent morning and evening credits and debits what the uppercase is going to look like and our conversions 
So let's just close out of there for the moment. Beneath that we have our debugger settings. When disabled is selected, the debugger tool is naturally disabled and it not, will not be launched if an error is encountered when executing code. Enabled is the system default setting from installation of Open Insight and it's the setting that we will use during these tutorials. Selecting this option enables the debugger and it will be launched if an error is encountered when we're executing a code, so it's quite useful. Intercept is used when you wish to disable the debugger but then define a routine of your own to be called in the event of an error. And this is called using the intercept routine. If there isn't a routine defined, then the debugger underscore replacement function is called. And if we click on intercept, click on the button, then we can go away and it will find a store procedure. So you just define your store procedure, which will say, do this, show this message, you know, whatever. So let's just cancel out of there and I'm going to leave my debugger settings as enabled for the moment. Under general we've got the SQL null string which specifies the string that displays when a null value is returned from the database and time format sets the format for the date and the time. Again the default is the US standard date format so if you're working in internationally then you might want to change that. When default I.O. conversion is checked, the default I.O. conversion is used for displaying data. And when the sort tables by database ID on add tables dialog is checked, the tables displayed within the add tables dialog box are stored alphabetically by database ID. Otherwise they're displayed alphabetically without regard to the database ID itself. The repository log Entries specify the number of entries in the entity history log found in the application manager and the system defaults to 10. And create a res32 users is only really relevant to those of you who are working with a res32 to move from a rev into the open insight world. A res32 is not the subject to this quick start guide and for this reason we can ignore these two prompts. The next tab is concerned with indexing and reporting defaults. The default stop list displays a list of words that are ignored when building, updating and searching cross-reference indexes. And the form default section maintains the default values for R-list reports. They include the number of lines in an R-list report and also the width of the report page um, in characters. While Starlist enables simple reports to be created quickly, OIPI enables more complex formatted reports to be designed. OIPI creates various report files when reports are previewed. Uh, the default shadow format will determine which file type to create by default. Units of measure enables standard or metric measurements to be chosen. And the user save path defines the path in which the shadow formats are saved. The indexing section enables you to define your default settings for indexing tasks. Delay before indexing simply defines the number of seconds that any workstation should be idle before the index update process can begin. The case sensitive query checkbox enables you to set query criteria to be case sensitive when selecting rows of data. Checking the update before query checkbox ensures that your indexes are updated before each query is run. However, it should be noted that only select and list queries will be update indexes prior to the query. Checking the update before query checkbox ensures that your indexes are updated before each query is run. However, it should be noted that only select and list queries will update indices prior to the query. Btree extract queries will not update indices using this string and B-tree index updates can be set to run before each B-tree extract query using the update before B-tree extract option. When update zero keys on related indexes is checked, keys with a value of zero in relational indices will be updated.